Most viewers like Sam Crack's Audi R8 rebuild a lot, but the Grinch, who's been an Audi mechanic for 800 years, did not. As a certified Audi mechanic of the last 800 years, it is a fact you will never fix this car, moron. The Grinch watched the entire series with envy and disgust, hoping one day Sam Crack would give up and the R8 would turn into rust. Ha! <laughs> Dude bought a car with a cracked frame. Good luck. But Sam Crack prevailed. The R8 was near finished, while the Grinch's negative comments became completely diminished. This Sam Crack guy, I really do hate. I know what I'll do. I'll steal his Audi R8. The Grinch slunk his way into Sam Crack's farm, where he snuck past the chickens. Shh. The cows. Cow selfie and the barn. He scooped up the keys to the Audi R8. This is too easy! It's amazing! I'm great. While the Grinch continued to lurk, browse, and roam, he hadn't a clue that Simpler Safe was protecting Sam Crack's home. Ooh! Simply Safe on. Home. It's the new school way of protecting your pad with no hidden fees or contracts had. It's easy to install, simple, and effective. Keeping you safe is its main objective. Around the clock, it's monitored by pros, keeping away your peskiest foes. It reminds you in the case you've made a mistake and alerts you of a little one is trying to escape. It can show you who's there before answering the door, also detecting fires, water leaks, glass breaks, and more. Simpler Safe is active all the time, even if a Grinch tries to destroy its power line. Sun nip! Entering the garage, he stumbled over a condenser, at the same time tripping both door and motion sensors. Caught on camera, the Grinch in plain sight, alerted by Simpler Safe, Sam Crack was ready for a fight. What the? Hey Grinch, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Sam Crack! You know, I really enjoy your videos, and as an Audi mechanic, I thought I'd just stop by and help you finish the R8. The end of this day went completely unplanned. The Grinch lent Sam Crack a much needed hand. They worked on the R8 until about five and then took off on a short little drive. During that time, the Grinch figured out it's better to be positive than negative in doubt. Before he left and went on his way, the Grinch asked Sam Crack. Just one question, if I may. The amazing security system that gave me away, the one with its beautiful blue glow. Where did you get it? I need to know. It's quite simple, Mr. Grinch. Right here you can go, or just click my link in the description box below. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that a little bit. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. When it comes to home security, that is one of the things I used to dread having to call and sign up for. I've moved probably about three times in the last 10 years. And it's like these old school security companies, they rob you before they provide you with the security that you need. Best part about Simply Safe, you own your own equipment and they sell you only what you need. And to install this stuff, the only things that really required a power cord were the home base station, any of the cameras, everything else, you literally take out of the box and stick it to the wall. And of course, in the case of an emergency, Simply Safe will contact your local authorities and let them know so they can get you the appropriate assistance. Don't let those old school security companies take advantage of you any longer. Check out Simply Safe by clicking my link in the description box below. I'll also pop up the link right here for the exclusive offer for my viewers. Big thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video and keeping my place Grinch proof. Now we're on the way right now to finish the Audi R8 completely. All it needs is a few little trim pieces and its new set of wheels, which I can't wait to show to you guys. And this car will be 100%. All right, one of my favorite parts of the rebuild project, when you've tested it out, you know things are pretty much finished and you start to reassemble it. And as you can see right here, went ahead, I did a quick cleaning of the engine bay. No, it's not perfect, but it is substantially better than it was. But you might notice that we're missing on the sides here, the trim covers that go here and also on this side. A few of you guys ask what this random blue wire is. That is the vacuum 
uh, port for the Army Trix exhaust. It runs down here, goes behind that shield right there, and then actually goes into the cabin of the car so we can open the valves up and down on it. So at this point, all we gotta do is grab the shields. I went ahead and cleaned those. And the shields have a light on either side. Gotta plug the harnesses in first and turn them into place. So let's do that right now. And just like that, who would have thought two covers would transform this thing and make it look completely amazing. I love right here these vents that they put on the side. I think those are solely for aesthetics. I don't know, maybe heat dissipation. I know guys, I only have the V8, but it still looks really cool, at least in my opinion. Now you might have noticed I took a flashlight and I kind of shined it down here. This is the uh, coolant reservoir. Most coolant reservoirs are transparent so you can see the coolant levels on the side. Well, of course, this one isn't like that. So you take the cap off and they've got that cool indicator on the inside to show you your coolant levels. Now the engine bay is completely finished. Oh, I love that view right there of the engine behind the glass. We got to finish up some trim in the front end. Everything's coming together. We're almost finished. There's just one last thing we gotta do. So I am very much a fan of the stock wheels on the R8, and all the R8s I've seen with aftermarket wheels all tend to look the same. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good look. I just see it a lot. Now, if you saw the alignment video on the Audi R8, you know that the cart went into perfect factory alignment spec, but what you also saw is that two out of the four wheels had balancing issues. Believe it or not, the one in the damaged corner, the front driver's side, was perfectly fine. It was one of the rears in the opposite side front. So instead of buying two wheels used online, which range anywhere between like three to $600 a piece, I figured I'd just find an entire set of wheels, especially with a lot of different deals and sales going on right now. So I shopped the aftermarket brands and a package there with tires would have cost me around three grand and then I stumbled upon a set that I ended up really, really liking. They came complete with tires and sensors all for just $1,400. Let me show you exactly what they are. The Audi R8 is about to get a set of Audi R8 wheels and tires. These are a set of base 2017-2018 Audi R8 wheels and they have only 300 miles on them. I mean, check out the tire tread. Everything is perfect and $1,400 with the sensors included. If you went and priced these out at the dealership, I'm sure you'd be talking about five grand plus for a set and I think they've got kind of a different look. I mean, they're similar to that. They just have that painted and uh, machine finish looked. So the insides are painted gray right here. And then the outsides are machine finished. I really like the way they look. It keeps a similar profile to what we have now. It's very cost effective. And the offsets, the sizes, everything is the same. Well, except for one really quick, simple fix. Right here is a set of hub adapter rings. Now I got these online, a set of four were $10. And these are necessary for the rears of this car, according to what I've read online. All you do, pop the wheel up, and then you fit the ring right here.
right, time for the final wheel reveal. And this is what the R8 looks like. So you saw in the time lapse me put a wheel on there, but shortly after I took the wheel off, if you look at the caliper, I think you can probably figure out why. This was supposed to be the conclusion to the Audi R8 project, but of course, since I can't drive it with the wheels grinding up against the caliper, we're gonna have to wait for one more video. The good news is for you guys, I was actually recording in the car when I heard the noise and I had the Grinch in the passenger seat with me. I'll be rolling that footage in just a second. Clearly don't know what I'm doing, but we'll get it sorted out one way or another. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Come on, you had to have liked the Grinch. Be sure to hit that like button. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can go right here or click the link in the description box below. Big thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video and I will catch you very soon. You step in cow shit. Cow selfie. Hey. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh, there's Ferdinand. I'm leaving getting the fuck out of here. Ferdinand showed up. That was the bull. <laughs> that was the bull that started coming. You just don't know <laughs> what a farm animal's gonna do, especially when you have a big mask on like this. You having fun, Grinch? Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> you think the kids would appreciate your curse words? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Listen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Idiot, duck down.